two, nine, six, and four. I thought it was wonderful. Did you I think, think that, that was wonderful? I thought it was wonderful. I thought yeah. it was a bit like we keep going down this route of experimental jazz. I thought it was a bit of an infusion. I think the F sharp major seven. I think you were playing F sharp I missed major the G. seven. I think I might have been playing. Did you see the jazz? Bit? I think I was playing Jeff Sharp. Jeff Sharp. <laughs> Jeff Sharp. <laughs> oh, hi everybody. Hi everybody. We're a bit toasty. We are a little bit. I'm still still jet lagged. He's still there. there. D hasn't stepped off for 16 days. <laughs> but he's it hanging in there. It has, does feel that way. He's I been, uh, we've even. been feeding him in, intravenously. Yes. <laughs> well, we're set up though. Tell you. So, we're at the NAM show still. We've built the booth. Sam has captured loads of that, so we will, we will show you the, the whole last day and a half, I guess. It's quite amazing because I don't think I've ever been around this many of our own guitars at one time before yeah. like they come in and go right yeah but like having 60 which are all new i know and like when, when we've been developing them over the last year or two you know you focus on a few then you move on and and it's months since you sort of revisit those early models that yeah. you develop and you almost kind of forget forget and then you get them out the box and you go oh and there's things on this booth i'm or oh, shouldn't really say it, but it's like, gosh, I, I forgot about this. Mm. Because it was a year and a half ago, yeah. we signed off on a great next. And yeah. It's like to, to, to be in the middle of all 60 out of 120 yeah. that we redeveloped. There's like a real sense of, I mean, I feel really proud. You must feel incredibly proud of this. Like even choosing one, one, a guitar for yeah. to play on here, you're stuck for choice. But yeah. We're, we're gonna have a little a little walk around. Well, I had to so, choose. I had to choose one of these. Is that somebody opera singing? <laughs> we have an opera yeah. singer and a tuba player in the background. All sorts of him. There was tubers. Tubers, yeah. Tuba sounds great. It sounds, it sounds menacing, and jolly. The tuba at the same time. You would sue the tuba. You could play that, no problem. So Thanks. we're gonna have a walk around the booth. I'm gonna show you. I mean, we've we, we've showed a lot, but there's uh, there's some really great models here. I've got to say, like, um, do you know what I love? Like the fact we have like five wonderful dreadnoughts in the yeah. area yeah. that are so different. Like, you know, the the voicing it's it's all sort of correct for each model for me anyway, but they're so different. Mm -hmm. So we've got like a DYM60. So we've got Adirondack Honduran. Adirondack Rosewood, which is what I'm playing. Yeah. Then we've got Redwood Rosewood. The Redwood Rosewood. Sitka Rosewood. Yeah. In a 12th and a 14th fret. Mm -hmm. And they're just, they're all on the money, you know? And it's yeah. just like having that choice of tone, I guess. I love the, um, I love the DMR. DMYR. DYMR. <sighs> See? Yeah, 16 I, days, no yeah. sleep. 16 days. 16 full straight days. <laughs> <laughs> just on coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee yeah, and the bananas. 14th fret. 
Fourteen thread. Yeah, I love that. The sun. That goes. is a great one. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is a great one. Yeah, yeah that that can hold itself against the uh, the Adirondack and, and the mahogany, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, without doubt. So anyway, we gonna have a bit of a, a mooch around here so we're just gonna stand up put the guitars down let's do it and then off we go let's do it okay here we are again outside the booth lovely graphic of a dym60 hd and then our nice sign it's very impressive isn't it you like that looks wonderful yeah did you paint that i i actually did i was here all night we have a tv tv is showing our uh alvarez compare tool which hopefully people know about on the website, where you can choose three guitars, you can play them in any way, open chords, strumming, finger style, and, and we're going to have uh, real time. Exactly, we're going to have an iPad down here um, yeah. this week, so, so people can try it out for themselves. Great. There's Tim. All right, mate. So it's our booth. This is the St. Louis Music booth, which goes on quite far. This is the Alvarez and the Aerie section. Starting here, when I was talking about the, those five dreads. Yeah. Like these five dreads, when you've got a family of dreads that are so good. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I should say that myself. I'm so happy with these guitars. And they sound so different. Yes. So, the Old Faithful, the big Canon, the DYM60 HD, Adirondack with uh, our Honduran Mahogany. DYM74, which is the new model, which is the uh, Redwood with the um, Indian Rosewood. Really vintagey, warm, lots of middle. We've said this, it sounds like a guitar that's already been played in. For a long time. And it's a brand new guitar. So, but we have no idea, Like a bit like the DYMs, yeah. the HDs. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Yeri had that wood for decades. It's incredible. We Nobody knows exactly do, when he got it. How do these things go unnoticed? Or do they just stash it away and just produce it? I think he left us some gifts, you know. That's Wonderful. all I think about. I think it's incredible. That, I think... Because he used to always watch us walk around the factory. And he used to watch us sort of find stuff. And he, he had a piece of land with, with lots of wood in there. And we used to go mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And I think he probably thought to himself, what I like to think is, ah, they'll find it one day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like left and us these, make something wonderful these little it. gifts that he's looking down going... Yeah. Well done, lads. You've, you've found the redwood. Incredible. So, <laughs> uh, this is the redwood. It's absolutely gorgeous, this top. Super um, tight grain. This dreadnought is cut on the quarter. Yeah. It shimmers the whole way through. Get more light, light on it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Adirondack Rosewood, 72. which is a really powerful, but it's, you know, it's, it's a, a scooped sound, unlike this, which is very more middly and warm, yes. and it's like all there. Mm -hmm. This power is, is somewhat different. This model that you're impressed with, right? I was super impressed because obviously, you know, I've lived with the the, the 12 fret version of that yeah. for some time. For years, I've owned yeah. that guitar for, for, for a good few years now. Uh, and then, to, and then if, to, to hear it, to feel it just with that, yeah. you know, so that's, that's quite different. DYM 70SB, but that Sitka guitar holds its own. Mm -hmm. with all of these I thought I thought these were going to outpower it outshine it out I don't know charisma it or whatever yeah, it might yeah. be but it doesn't it holds on then of course we have our DYMR70 which is a 12th fret these five are absolutely spectacular this is awesome that's a GYM full body GYM which is a uh, Honduran really really articulate lots of power there and then we have another um, 74 which is our OM, and we put a cutaway on this one. Yes. And I did think about that a lot, whether we should put a cutaway on that OM. And then I thought, Redwood, more open, cedarish, finger yeah. style. It can handle it. Can handle it, yeah. Yeah. And I had this thing plugged in before. We've got an amplifier. Yeah. Um, and I hadn't heard because we've only just received these guitars. Yeah. A matter of weeks before Christmas, so um, I listened to the LR Bags Hi-Fi yeah. in the Masterworks, which sounded wonderful. And then I, and then today for the first time, I plugged that in, and absolutely blown away. Yeah, I mean, it's just to be honest with you, it's quite. I wasn't expecting it to sound like it. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's mic'd up. Yeah, but it's pretty close. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's, 
It doesn't what have that. What were, you say, what were you saying? It doesn't quack. Ha- doesn't There's no quack. quack. Yeah. Like yeah. that synthetic element. Yes. And yes. then we come over here. We've got sort of this is our OM and parlor wall. And um, everybody knows what that is. It's an FYM 66, which has been a super seller. This has been. Had a little bit of love out there, so it's a it's a parlor version. 12 fret PYM 66 HD. This thing. It's just, I don't know, it's the best OM I've played. Yeah. You know, it's a it's an FYM 60HD. I didn't say this on the video, but we actually made our OMs slightly deeper by five mil. Yes. And just to create that little bit more air volume to drive the new brace in the FST6, I'll be honest with you, I was guessing a little bit, but it, Right. It, it was a lucky guess. Yeah. It, it did work. I just thought the old model, aesthetically, I just thought, you know, it could probably push the depth of that a little, a little more. Mm-hmm. And then there's another version. I love this. Yeah, I love all of these, these yeah. sunburst versions, yeah. You know, it's... Because it's, there's four of them now. There's four of them now, and this has got um, herringbone purfling, and it's just a classic-looking model. It's, a, it's an FYM70 um, herringbone and it's classic Sitka rosewood. It just looks, I don't know. Yeah, it's great. Because the DC bridge, it just, it's not completely retro, and it just has a bit of modern mm-hmm. element to it. And then we have the FYM 72, which is the Adirondack with the rosewood. So that one, we did keep a full body yeah. OM. And I think Adirondack rosewood should have been. Yes. You know, it's like more, obviously, pre-war yeah. kind of vibe. And uh, we didn't add a cutaway on it, which I think was, in hindsight, was the right decision. But the cutaway models are the only guitars that have the EQ. Is that true, or do any of the... Only the cutaway models? Yeah, just the cutaway models. We can fit them, but we decided not to. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then this this sounds great. I was pleasantly surprised. We've got to do a little demo of this, right? We have to do a little demo. We have to. (laughs) So we have a very persistent... um, member of the community called Thomas Knapps, who's ordered one of these, like, I think the first day. Yeah. Thomas, we're going to make a video. We're going to come in early in the morning. We're going to mic up and we're going to make a video of this guitar because he said, yeah. please, please, anything about this instrument. So we'll, we'll come in and we'll, we'll demo it. When it's a little quieter, we, see, we have a lot of stuff going on in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we have Laureate. And we've talked a lot about Laureate. And, I, you know, I think probably um, quite proud of this line, really. It's just, what is a tuna left on there? It's just, a tuna? Or a tuna? A tuna or a tuna. It's just really, from, from the Alvarez line, you know, it's not a Yairi, but the new bridge and this Caldy, which we sort of dived into, they just look and sound great. And we're, uh, there's all, already quite a buzz about them, I think. And it's, um, and that's a daybreak version, that's of course. Daybreak, yeah. And we have the, natural. the regular and natural. There's not a lot between them. The market will tell us what they like best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's got a more vintage vibe. But there's, if you get a darker piece of Sitka, like we had the, we had two parlors, one, mm. the, uh, the natural was almost darker than the, the, uh, the, the daybreak. So, um, Personally, I think the Daybreak will sell better. Then we've got everything else, all the new stuff that we've released over the past three or four months on, on online. We've got Masterworks series, we've got our customs, we've got our herring bones. Um, so we start here, we've got rosewoods, and then we go into mahoganies. And all the Masterworks have the hi-fi, have the LR bags hi-fi. They do. Yeah. Yeah, they're all loaded. Yes. And then we have Artist Elite Series, which are a couple of new models that we talked about when we made the film. So we've got an Artist Elite, we've got a bass and a baritone, both with armrests, which is really nice because they're such big body guitars. Yeah. So that's cool. We've kept these models here because they're still very popular, so we didn't really want to change them. And Mm -hmm. we might revisit this line down the road. The only difference is the Stage Pro Bronze. Stage Pro Bronze, correct, which 
which in it just looks great. Yeah, it's smart. We said before it just it just sits, especially in with, in with the rosewood. Yeah. It's it's almost you, in some lights you kind of can't even yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's very very subtle. And then new artist series again with Stage Pro, lots of new models, and um, that's been very popular so far. That twelve string that black and rosewood. Yeah. Lots more grand auditoriums, lots of The eight-string Barry, which is great. Sounds wonderful. Looks, eight, looks, eight-string baritone looks is quite so something. so cool, doesn't it? Excellent. And and then mm. we're back to, to Yairi again. So over the next few days, we will do some more deep dives model by model. We've got loads of um, friends coming. Yes, from around that's going to be pretty cool. Distributors and many dealers in the US and dealers from the UK and yeah and, um, so and we'll be wandering around having a look at some of the stuff as well yeah it should be great and hopefully we'll have some nice players coming here I certainly hope so yeah who could do maybe better than our jam <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry about that yes that's that's the jet lag jam but we'll the jet try lag and, blues we'll try and catch as, uh, as much as possible yeah Sam will be editing every night and we'll uh, keep him busy we'll get online thanks guys <laughs> cheers bye bye see ya Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you want to watch more videos like this one, click the video on the screen now.